Hi, I'm Peter from Wham Bam, and we're real excited to show you our newest product, which is the nozzle maintenance kit. This little heavy package right here is chock full of great tools for you to maintain your printer, especially your nozzle. And let me start by just doing an unpacking and show you what's included in here. So first of all, the mini slap, it's a great little accessory of Wham Bam's, uh, lets you put your screws, your hot ends, your pieces on there so they don't roll away. It's great for disassembling a hot end on the printer so you don't have any molten plastic or hot, hot ends that drop on your build surface and hurt it. You could rest a soldering iron on there for a few minutes before it even starts to make a discoloration. So they're wonderful. You could even set a resin bottle on top and clean the resin off with some IPA. The next thing to see is our pneumatic depressor. This is a new Wham Bam product. And this allows you to push the pneumatic coupler in order to take the PTFE tube out, even if it's inset inside of a, a deep build head. So just put this around the pneumatic tube and we're gonna push down on that while we extract the tube. It's that easy, much easier even when the hot end is mounted to the machine. Now, the Nozzle needles, most people know what these are. We have five of these 0.4 millimeter needles and they go in the hot end from the bottom, usually while the hot end is still on the machine, heated up in order to clear the clog from the bottom. This is one of the first things you might wanna try in case the clog's just in the point. If you find that you have a clog on the inside, then we have both of our nozzle cleaning tools. So the tool that is 3.8, the larger one, is made to go into the heat throat where the PTFE tube is usually fed into. So with this 3.8 tool, you can go ahead and put it in there. Um, while it's on the machine, if you do not have a direct drive, if you have a Bowden drive, it'll pass through, or off the machine with a blowtorch or a hot air gun, and you can remove any gunk that's stuck in between where the PTFE tube ended and the nozzle began. And that's a critical place that filament will build up if there's any gap at all and eventually cause extruder clicking, clogging, and bad prints. Once it comes out, this little ring at the end is going to allow it to grab onto the molten plastic and pull it out. And you'll wanna take a razor blade and clean that off. The other nozzle maintenance tool, the 1.7, is the exact size of your filament, a little bit smaller, has a conical tip on the point, and this allows you to get down all the way past the heat break and into the nozzle's end to clean the nozzle from the inside. And you can pull that out and scrape that off once again with a cloth or a razor blade. Moving on, we have three different nozzle wrenches. The six millimeter fits the really thin profile, sort of the original Creality kind of hot ends very well. You will have on both of them a short, uh, close angle for high torque and for smaller areas, and you have a long angle if you're gonna be turning really fast. Um, the seven millimeter fits kind of the medium size, the Bontec uh, CHT nozzles, a lot of the slice nozzles, more, some of the more popular nozzles. And the 10 millimeter we've included in case you have any of these really obscure giant nozzles that were much more popular in the past, but are still around. And you'll be able to get to those with that kit there. Moving on to the nozzle cleaning filament. So this allows you when you're switching between filaments of two different temperatures, very different temperatures, this helps you to flush out the hot end before you insert the next one. So between swap, you'll wanna just feed a little bit of this through. You have two meters in here that'll last you forever. You just feed uh, 20 millimeters through. And uh, what it'll do is it'll flush out the filament that was in there before. This has a much wider range of print and melt um, that allows you to flush out the higher temp stuff that won't melt when you're printing a lower temp material or flush out the lower temp material that would carbonize and burn if you're going to then print a higher temp material. And so you just use a little bit of that to clean between large temperature shifts. 
We also have the magnetic holder, and this is just a little bonus we've thrown in there. This allows you to peel off the 3M tape on the back and stick it to a metallic glass or smooth surface, and it'll hang up on your wall or wherever, and you can keep some of your most popular tools there. This is really great on resin printers to keep the Allen keys that you'll need for that specific printer and such. So that's our nozzle maintenance kit. Um, we're real excited to see what you guys are going to do with it. We are going to give a little longer video showing the exact way we would use each one of these tools to clean a clog and take care of your hot end. But I'm sure each one of you is going to have your own techniques and we'd love to hear uh, your way of doing it. So stay tuned for further videos. Thank you.